Hey, niños. Conceal carry. Let's talk about that. This is not a revolver. Hey guys, Chad Nelson here, talking about concealed carry. Namely, holsters for concealed carry. I am a CPL holder. I like to exercise my right to carry a gun on my person. I'm a firm believer. But that all aside, we're not gonna get into that whole side of things because we go really deep with that. Anyways, when you're carrying, you gotta have a comfortable holster. And I've tried like paddle holsters that go inside your pants, the gun rest outside your waistband. I've tried making my own holsters in the waistband holsters. In fact, I created this guy right here from YouTubes and stuff that I've watched. It's an in the waistband carry holster. This is my Glock 30 45 caliber pistol. This was the smallest uh, subcompact pistol that I owned at the time. And this is what I carried and it's it's big and bulky. I love this gun. It's a wonderful gun. But it was hard to carry. And I tried paddle holsters and it was just, it printed huge on the side. And I didn't like that too much. And so I went and did some research on YouTube. Love YouTube. And came up with a way to make this in the waistband carry holster right here. And I made this and it was good. It went in the waistband, but when I, when I put it in my pants, it's rocking all around, it's doing this kind of thing. Another thing is, this is right against your body. If you're wearing underwear, you, you have that protection, but you still sweat in this area right here. And it, it got uncomfortable. I could have made this a little more ergonomical to where this would come up right here and uh, protect my belly but I didn't, so I was getting a little chafing going on on my belly right here. Negligible, really. Uh, and this was my experience with my first in the waistband holster. Outside the waistband, I'm not an advocate. It just prints more. I ended up getting a new concealed carry pistol, and it is the Springfield XDS-9. And I love this thing. It's a whole lot more streamlined, It feels really good in your hand, and I like it. I got it without my wife's permission. I got in a little trouble. I won't do that again, ever, but I like this gun. I like this gun a lot. So anyways, now I have a, in my opinion, this is just one man's opinion, my head, a concealed carry gun that is ideal. I love this gun. Now I need a good holster, and I thought about making a holster for this, uh, with my Kydex skills, but I saw an ad on Facebook about the Brave Response Holster. And I went and researched it, and I watched some YouTubes on it, and I thought, eh, it's 70 bucks. It was 70 bucks. So I ordered it. Did my wife know about that? I don't know. She might have. She might have not. Anyways, I ordered this holster, a little skeptical, but I, I wanted to try it. I wanted a new holster. I'm not being paid to review this holster. I paid for this holster, and it's just my thoughts. So, I went and ordered this Brave Response holster. It's in the waistband, so that means it's inside your pants. So you gotta put this on before you put your pants on. The cool thing I like about this holster is they used a wicking material back here. This backside is a wicking material, so as you sweat throughout the day, this is gonna push it away. So I take this off at the end of the day and it's not sticking to my body. I like the wicking. It's designed to fit a bunch of different makes and models of a bunch of different guns. It fits my Springfield beautifully. You have extra mag storage right here. And I also carry a flashlight, which I stick right there. I like this for, I have my, my concealed carry going on, I got a flashlight, I have an extra mag. I love that. This, 
did not offer me any of that. I'm holding my, my pistol, that's it. Another pro to this holster is it functions independently of your pants, so it's not weighing down your pants. It straps on with these bungees and is pretty much self-contained on your body. Uh, the only problem that I've run into is when you have to go to the bathroom. That's always a problem, going to the bathroom. So pros, the pros are the wicking capabilities of this, of this holster are beautiful. I don't get all sweaty. It's very comfortable. The extra storage for an extra mag or a flashlight or two extra mags. It's independent of your pants. The multiple gun capability. The low profileage of the whole system. It's adaptable for any body size because it, it comes around and hugs you with this Velcro. I'm interested to see how long this Velcro will last. It's industrial strength Velcro, which is it's a really good quality Velcro, but we'll see. In their literature, they say that you need to trim it. So you put it on and basically Velcro up and then you trim the Velcro per your body. And I didn't have to trim. <laughs> that sucks. But it fits me. Overall, I'm loving this holster. Uh, cons. So when you get this holster, it's designed for, for a myriad of different pistols. And they have an adjustable retention system for this holster. This is a fixed piece right here with a button. I threw the other piece away because I don't use it, but I kept this on to show you. Idea being, you stick your pistol in, you put this other piece in that I already threw away down here and it has the other side, the male side of this button, and it comes around and buttons up. So when you draw, it's a, it's a thumb release. You're popping that off and drawing your gun. I'm past the age of cartwheels and somersaults and anything that's gonna put me upside down to where this holster is actually gonna let go of my, my pistol. And the retention I get with the holster itself and then my belt buckle on my pants is plenty of retention that this does not flop around, it doesn't come out. It might if I do a cartwheel. I'm not doing that anymore, you know? As a matter of fact, So I'm actually just gonna take this right out of here. I'm sorry, Conceal Carry. I don't mean to degradate your holster. Wow, that's good material. Bam, okay. So I did away with my arch enemy that was scratching up the slide of my gun. I really wish that Conceal Carry made this with a both sides modular so that you have the option of not having this on there. It's sewn in, sewn in very well, and it's gone. So that is my opinion on that. Other cons, other cons, other cons. You pretty much have to take the whole thing off if you gotta sit on the can. The other con I have is I carry appendix carry, and that's right in front, and you might have thoughts on that. You're pointing your, your pistol right at your boys. Which, it, that's legit, and I'm pointing it at my femoral artery as well. Femoral? Femoral. Is that right? Femoral. Femoral artery. That's legit. I can't deny that. It's it's kind of a a dangerous place for your pistol to be pointing, and but I just find it more comfortable. That's that's where I like to carry. I've tried in the small on my back. I've tried on my side. I've tried a hol shoulder holster, which is junk, my opinion, again. So in pelvic carrying this this holster here, uh, my legs are bringing these ends up. This has one, two, three different pouches in the front. And in this pouch I have a mini flashlight, which it doesn't affect. If I had something bigger, this, this crease that my legs are causing, carrying an appendix, is gonna push whatever item that is up and out and possibly fall out, which is no good. Uh, same on this other side. I have a magazine in here that doesn't affect my magazine, so that's fine in my head. This pouch I do not use at all because it's a smaller pouch. I have a harder time getting a magazine in this pouch, although it just went in really good right there. 
But the crease, the crease of my leg pushing up because I'm carrying appendix is gonna cause this magazine to go up and possibly fall out later. So I carry this mag right here. Other than that, this has been a great holster so far. I would definitely buy this again. If you guys wanna check it out, I have a link to an Amazon down below. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.